Here's everything we know about Fast and Furious 9 so far. The Fast and Furious franchise will expand this summer with its first ever spin-off film, Fast and Furious Presents, Hobbs and Shaw. The movie will follow Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham's characters Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw on their own standalone adventure, before the mainline series continues next year. In the years since the original Fast and the Furious hit theaters in 2001, the property has grown by leaps and bounds in terms of box office gross, scope, and even critical reception. The franchise has also managed to attract quite the assortment of actors in that time, ranging from big-name action stars like Johnson and Statham to popular character actors, Luke Evans, actors who have since become superstars, Gal Gadot, and even Oscar winners in the forms of Helen Mirren and Charlize Theron. At its core, however, the series is still the story of ex-convict street racer Dominic Toretto, Vin Diesel, and his extended family. That hasn't changed since Fast and the Furious co-star Paul Walker's tragic death during production on Furious 7, I there rated, it's easy for Fast and Furious to give hashtag justice for Han, here's how since Universal decided to bump Fast and Furious 9 back to 2020 and give its original 2019 release date to Hobbs and Shaw, there's an extra year to go until the franchise's mainline narrative picks up from where 2017's The Fate of the Furious left things. As such, there's still a lot that we don't know about the film when it comes to plot and, in some cases, even casting details. With that in mind, here's everything we do know about the movie right now. Fans will have to wait a little longer than originally expected for Fast and Furious 9 to hit theaters next year. Universal moved the film to April 10, 2020 after delaying it for Hobbs and Shaw, but only recently pushed it back six weeks to May 22. Thankfully, by the look of things, the movie's latest delay was purely a business decision. Fast and Furious 9's old April date has now been given to Bond 25, which is getting a rewrite and needs additional time for development. Since Universal is distributing 007's next adventure, they shifted the 9th Fast and Furious movie away to avoid pitting its tent poles against one another. Dwayne Johnson has already confirmed he won't reprise Luke Hobbs for Fast and Furious 9, the news isn't surprising. Seeing as The Rock and Diesel infamously butted heads during production on The Fate of the Furious and didn't even film many of their scenes together. Johnson has also expressed an interest in continuing to expand his section of the franchise with a Hobbs and Shaw sequel, assuming the spin-off is successful enough to warrant a follow-up, which it almost certainly will be. Fate of the Furious struggled to balance the screen time between Johnson and Diesel's characters anyway so it's probably for the best that they're working separately for now. Fast and Furious 9 hasn't even started shooting yet, so we're still a ways off from a trailer being released. Diesel is known for keeping his fans in the loop when his movies are in production and will probably release a first-look image online when filming begins. However, an actual trailer probably won't be arriving until the end of this year and almost certainly won't be attached to Hobbs and Shaw this August, with movies like Star Wars, Episode 9 and Jumanji 3 hitting theaters in December, that's likely when the Fast and Furious 9 teaser will drop online. Understandably, some fans are probably under the impression that Hobbs and Shaw has replaced Fast and Furious 9 in a more literal sense as opposed to simply taking its old release date. It doesn't help that longtime Fast and Furious co-star Tyrese Gibson publicly criticized Johnson for making the spin-off and, for those who didn't follow the story closely, seemed to indicate that Fast and Furious 9 had been outright cancelled because of Hobbs and Shaw. That's not the case and Daniel Casey, Kin is currently in the process of writing the next Fast and Furious sequel, with Justin Lin returning to direct after sitting out the last two installments. The current plan is to end the main Fast and Furious movies with Fast and Furious 10 in 2021, or whenever the film ultimately reaches theaters. There was once talk of Fast and Furious 9 and 10 being filmed back-to-back, -back, 
but that no longer appears to be in the cards. Diesel has further claimed that Lin is already set to direct Fast and Furious 10, which suggests the filmmaker will knowingly set the stage for the finale with the ninth installment. Keeping that in mind, Universal has plans to continue the franchise past Fast and Furious 10 and is moving towards releasing a new Fast and Furious movie, be it a spin-off or sequel, every year in the foreseeable future. There's at least one Fast and Furious spin-off in active development right now, in addition to Hobbs and Shaw and Fast and Furious 9 and 10. The film doesn't have a title yet, but is described as a women-led spin-off and already has three female writers working on the script in some fashion. Diesel previously claimed that spin-off movie storylines for various characters have been written, so there could be even more Fast and Furious spin-offs in the pipeline that we don't know about just yet. That's not including Hobbs and Shaw too which Johnson has already said he intends to make and wants Jason Momoa to play one of his brothers in. The Aquaman actor had to pass on the first Hobbs and Shaw due to his busy schedule.